All right, we're expanding logarithms level two. So this is just the more difficult version. And it looks like we're doing the exact same thing. They're just throwing more of it at us. We're asked to expand the logarithm fully using properties of logs. So we have to use, we have to use the properties of logs. We need to express, express what? The final answer in terms of log. Okay, so basically they're just wanting us to fully unfold it and uh, let's do that. All right, so here's our original problem. Log of z to the fifth over, um, now right away, let's go ahead and rewrite this uh, y. This y is a cube root squared. Cube root tells us as a fractional exponent what the denominator is in the fractional exponent. So this cube root turns into a three on the bottom of the, the exponent for y because that's on y so that goes directly like that. So already there's they're using properties of uh, exponents on it and then it's times x. All right, so that's going to help us already. We can't move it in front if we don't see it as an exponent. It's trapped under the radical. All right, so a lot better already. So the first thing we want to do is we want to look at it like in total here. In total, the z to the fifth is being divided by all that. So we'll go ahead and change that divide into what? What is divide related to as a uh, operation in exponents? It's related to subtraction. So this one is on top. That means it goes first, z to the fifth and then minus uh, log uh, y to the two-thirds x, okay? Then we see that this back part has some things that are being combined here. We see a multiply. That multiply breaks down into addition, but it's important to recognize that all of that has this minus sign in front of it. So whatever I break down, let's keep that bracket or grouping symbol on it. So this now has, uh, now I can move that five in front right now, but let's just go ahead and do that all in one step because I see I have another one right here. So log of z to the fifth, I'll wait to move the five, minus, let's do a bracket, log uh, y to the two divided by three. How are the laws of exponents related with multiply? It turns it into addition. And then we break it into another log of x, all right? And so notice if we hadn't had that bracket right there, that negative distributes to right here on this one. Okay, notice it's also on the bottom. If I moved it up, it would have a negative exponent. We do have some options if I wanted to look at this as all like kind of uh, multiply. In fact, uh, yeah, I'll do that in a second. All right, so this now is a log, let's move it in front and then I'll distribute. Okay, so five log of z, exponents go out in front, um, minus two over three log y plus log x. We don't want to have these grouping symbols in our answer, so this negative applies to the first term and the second term. So our final answer, five log of z minus two over three log of y minus log of x. All right, so and then uh, that's gonna be our final answer. Now I just wanted to show you what I was talking about. So if I wanted to rewrite this in terms of negative exponents, so that all we're doing is multiplying. So that's z to the fifth. Uh, two thirds is on the bottom. If I move it up front, up top, it becomes negative two thirds. And if the x moves up, it becomes x to the negative one. So now it's all multiply, and then we it, it's actually almost looks a little bit easier kind of to get to that step. But they want us to kind of work with both methods and kind of do it in stages, but if you need it, then this is always a good default method that you can practice with to get the same answer. All right. So uh, five log keys and functions of z 
minus 2 divided by 3 log key of y minus log key of x. Everything's done well and properly. They kept that uh, cube root all the way through. Uh, when you're dealing with logarithms, it's good not to have those radicals floating around. Treat it as an exponent right off the bat. Okay. Looks like we got some different problem types. Let's see what they are. A lot of different ones uh, with radicals. Uh, yeah, so everything looks like kind of the same type of problem. But let's look at the next one, see if it's any different. This That one was pretty much as hard as it gets. Uh, same idea here. Um, log of x to the 4, uh, z cubed minus log of y. So it's just kind of making sure that you treat this separately than you do on the bottom. Now let's go ahead and just take a look. So that would be log of x kind of getting started is the hardest part on these and then it's minus uh, log of y on the bottom and then i break this into addition we don't have to worry about distributing the minus sign move the exponents out front same kind of problems most of them seem pretty straightforward uh, just keeping things um, paced together remember this is can also be written as log x to the four z cubed y to the negative one and you can treat it that way too so either way all right so uh, i encourage you to do both you'll become stronger but uh, this one to me is kind of a, a method that will always work and then you avoid uh, having to worry about the divide